get real. my channel if you're new here hi hello how are you my name is Ali and if you're coming back oh, so good to see you again I miss you today we're doing a room makeover oh. here's the thing I have been sleeping on a twin mattress since college okay? in the amount of times that I've been called a college boy for sleeping on a twin bed that is on the floor <laughs> Oh my it's God. embarrassing enough for me to be like, let's just do a whole new room makeover. Pretty much all I've done so far is order the full size mattress and a frame for it so I'm not sleeping on the floor. But I haven't done anything else yet because now that I'm upgrading in size of a bed, I don't know what all is gonna fit in my room. So right now I'm gonna unbox and set up the new mattress and then we're gonna shift things around, figure that out and then Hopefully go ham with getting new furniture, decorations, and all that kind of jazz. Look, here's the situation. This is my bed and it's gonna be bigger. So I think I'm gonna actually have to move it to this wall. Over here though, I just have this random thing with junk on it. Like girl, I don't know. And then like also for my desk, I think I need a new one with like storage cause this is not doing it for me. And then I also have this chair that Jinx has just completely destroyed. So like. Like that chair needs to go. Anyway, we'll get to figuring out the layout later, but for now, let's start with the mattress. Well, actually, let's first start by getting Boba to get us in the energy. Also, here's the outfit <laughs> check, but also it's like 40 degrees out, so Bruh. I need to put on a hoodie or I'll um, turn into an icicle and then my outfit will be worthless, so let's go to hoodie. Hi. What can I get for you? Um, can I get the honey oolong milk tea, please? Yes. And I love your earrings, they're so cute. Yeah. Ooh, look at them bobo balls. Ugh. <laughs> oh, so good, I would die for sherry tea. Also, look at this cute little stuffy that Kathleen got me the other day. She said it reminds her of me. I kind of see what she means. <laughs> okay, now let's get back home and start the room renovation. My mom's here. Yay, Yay mom! Bye. And we're gonna move the mattress now. <laughs> found an earring that I'd been missing for like so long, yay! Bruh. It was under my mattress. I literally don't know how because my mattress was flat on the ground, but Selene, I can wear these. <gasps> Yo, I found another earring I'd been missing. Bruh. Okay, it's time for the chair to go bye-bye, guys. Wow. I know, look how much she destroyed it. Oh yeah, this my is the God. damage Jinx did, guys. Don't have a cat and also own furniture ever. Oh my god. Slay. <laughs> Mom buff queen. <laughs> Marry the Bobby build Bobby Builder. Oh my god. <laughs> Body builder. To make space for the bed, we vacuumed and moved all of my stuff out of the way. First thing to unbox. Ah, I'm so excited. It's Allie the Builder time. That did not work. <laughs> How do you open boxes? <laughs> Slay. I forgot it was white. I literally thought this whole time it was black. Is there an instruction manual? <laughs> I'm actually stressed. <laughs> Oh, because he said, oh, <laughs> no, it's 
happening? I'm like not resting this on anything. I'm just using all my might to hold them together. <laughs> The last part of building the bed was putting in these beams and we were trying to figure out where the biggest beam went. I guess that's because it bears the most weight. That's where your butt went. <laughs> that big juicy thing, gotta have support. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Okay, so I'm thinking about putting my bed, either flipping it and putting the head against here or putting it in the corner against this wall. So first we're gonna try to see if it would even fit with the head there. Okay, so here's option A. Here it like has an inch hanging over. So I don't know, <laughs> jinxy, if that works. So my mom and I discussed it and I don't want to put it here because I like having my desk next to the window. So I don't want to have to move my desk like into the corner with no natural lights. So we're gonna leave it here and see what happens when we put the mattress on. Mattress time. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna go. <laughs> I know, I'm so scared. Like a jack in the box. A jack in the box. <laughs> Once you get to that end piece, it's gonna go. Is it gonna hit me though? It's gonna slam you against your records. Bruh. <laughs> it looks like a freaking roll, like one of those desserts. <laughs> one of those roll desserts. Swiss roll. It's like a Swiss roll. Okay, so I lied. I don't just have the mattress. I also have all the mattress fixings. So my dad got me these pink sheets. <laughs> Obviously we can't just have white. Like, would we even be a girl if we didn't have pink sheets? <laughs> okay, obviously I'm joking. Ah! But pink just makes all the better. And then my aunt got me my comforter. <gasps> oh my gosh, everything comes in such tiny boxes. So lay at bed thank you for the comforter girly and yes it's plain white which i literally just made a fun of white sheets and i have a white comforter Bruh. but my vision is that i get like cute blankets to put on top of the comforter so that like if i ever want to switch out get new blankets have a new design in my room like i can just have the staple white comforter and then fun different designs on blankets like uh, i'm so big brained my dumbass was about to just put these sheets straight on the bed without washing them until I smelled them and remembered, oh yeah, um, they come from a factory, so let's wash all this. <sighs> In the meantime, I'm gonna try to figure out where everything else should go. So that used to be my little like music background of videos corner, but now it's gonna be this wall where my bed used to be. So I think I'm gonna move my cat tree to this little space then move my amp, guitar, vinyls, and lingerie rack over here. Who's still now? What happens when mm, okay. <laughs> well, Jinx is curious, so I think she approves it. TBH, it does kind of look awkward there, <laughs> but we'll leave it there for now. Then, at least this is an okay bar for then to this little space right here, which actually looks so perfect for this. I'm gonna add this new vintage lamp. <laughs> and guess what? It was actually from my grandpa's house. My grandma who passed away like back in 2009. She used to love antiquing and she antiqued this. <laughs> she was the OG thrifter in my family for real. My grandpa always tells me that if my grandma was still alive, we'd be like so close because we had so many similarities and like loving secondhand shopping and like finding deals and stuff. And she really loved like coquette aesthetic. Obviously she didn't call it coquette, but <laughs> she was really into like the pink and like the cutesy stuff. So now I have a piece of her in my room. So cute. Oh, oh geez. So pretty. Okay, this is the situation right now. I think it's so cute. Already this walkway is already looking so much nicer and my room looks like so much bigger and open. Okay, I feel like now I need to figure out what furniture I need and what like organization stuff I need. <laughs> my desk looks crazy y'all but now i know i need a desk with storage now organization wise i need to see how much junk i own so i know like how many organization thingies i'm gonna need 
So I'm just gonna take literally everything I find in my room that's just like junk and put it in the middle of my floor <laughs> and see how much there is. So all this stuff was like on or under my desk. And then I also have all this stuff. So I have like all the tech stuff here, books, journals, and some cards, Jinx's cat stuff. This is a bin for all the stuff that normally goes in my purse. Misc, my random stuff basically. Guitar stuff, hair stuff, manuals and other documents decoration memorabilia type stuff supplies my crocheting stuff and my jewelry stuff and stickers so we need to have enough drawers to accommodate all that or get like boxes or bins or something i'm gonna put this in our living room for shoes and then just i don't need the white little table anymore okay here's the fit ah, i hope i'm warm enough <laughs> I got my baby fat purse from a subscriber. Love you, girl. Thank you for sending me that. It's so cute. Look how Y2K I slay. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're here at Goodwill. I'm so nervous. I hope we find something. So there's not a huge selection here. Oh, what the fuck? Um, but other than that, it's a lot of like random kind of junk. This is gorgeous. I wish with all of my heart that I had a purpose for this in my apartment because oh my gosh this is really the only thing they have that like could potentially work but then these aren't real so it has no storage which is the whole purpose of why i was getting a desk so sadly we'll have to pass on it but i do want something that looks like this like something vintagey okay we struck out on the desk we'll have to go tomorrow to other thrift stores okay last thing on our to-do list is to find like organization items to hold all my shit there's a lot of plates Here's like some bowls, but I don't really want like glass bowls cause I'm low key clumsy. So like what if I just like dropped and broke them? I don't trust myself. Ooh, these are really good for storage, but they're kind of ugly. Bruh. I thought if they were like black, it would work, but also they're navy. And just like, no, like the navy turns me off. I don't like the color navy, it's ugly. Bruh. I'm thinking some of the storage will just go under my bed. So like, it doesn't have to be super cute, but like at least a little cute, like at least not navy blue, come on. <laughs> this could low key work for under my bed. I hate the gray handles though, like why? They really could have made these all white, but yet they chose to make the handles gray. Like, why? I feel like we can still find cuter. I feel like actually this would be useful to organize my stuff, but it's so ugly. Bruh. I'm sorry, but I'm really just not a fan of like utilitarian look. It's too like cold steel. I want like warm antique vibes, like wood, you know? <gasps> I really like this red and black container. Oh my gosh, y'all. This would actually be perfect for my bracelets. I didn't mention it earlier, but my bracelets are like overflowing where they normally sit. But this is like the perfect size to stack my bracelets. And it's like kind of gothic vampy vibe. I like this, so we're gonna get this. Oh, of course y'all know I had to stop in clothes. And look at this cute skirt I found. It's so cute, but it's a large and the waist definitely will not fit me. So these are also so cute, like Lizzie McGuire slash Barbie vibes. But they're thirteen dollars. So literally pass. What? So all I got tonight was the, the little box for my bracelets. I was gonna go to an antique store, but they're closed. So I have to go to more places tomorrow. Okay, I'm back from the thrift, and now my sheets and comforter are dry. So let's make my bed. making the bed. I feel like that's the number one quality I'm looking for in my next partner. We'll make the bed tonight every single time. <laughs> pillows! Aw, <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you, Jinxie. Yay! My mom got me new pillows. I feel like when you become an adult, like the randomest things make you so excited. Like when I opened these for Christmas, I was like, oh, new pillows! A nice pillow is like quiet luxury, you know? Okay, but I only use one pillow, so I only have one silk pillowcase. <laughs> and my pillows aren't gonna match. Y'all, this comforter is so soft. Oh my gosh. Okay, I feel like I was trying to do something 
cute with like the three blankets, but it just looks kind of weird. I also don't like love these three blankets, but I want to get like really cutely designed tapestries or something to put on top of my white comforter. Like, I don't know, maybe like a band logo or some cute like coquette or hippie kind of design. Just something fun to like show personality, you know? But for now, I'm really happy. Good morning, y'all. It's 7.57 a.m. Um, I just got out of the shower, which was really difficult because it was so warm and it's 30 degrees <laughs> outside in Houston today. Um, which some of y'all are probably like, girl, that's a hot summer day for me here in the north. Um, but for us in Houston, that's like probably as cold as it's gonna get all winter long, hopefully. Anyway, we're going thrifting today to hopefully find a desk and organizers, but we need to find something that works for 30 degree weather. Okay, I just looked up outfits on Pinterest and I actually really need to buy scarves because I own like one and it's like thin. These are literally the two scarves I own. They're both thin. I need a thick winter scarf. But for now, I think I'm gonna go the like Y2K corporate slack with like a long sleeve and then like a sweater and a coat over it vibe oh i also want to thrift like a hat like the only hats i have are y2k hats like this which like are cute like girl that is so slight like i love this and cat beanies but i want like a hat hat like a proper hat i was gonna wear this but my tummy's out and it's way too cold for that so we're gonna change this is the final fit yay we're here so i specifically came to salvation army because today they have 50 percent off everything in the store so let's hope we can find some cute stuff why is there like no one here and the people who are here are all men? <laughs> I literally walked in and I was like, deer in headlights, like I'm not supposed to be here. And all the men were just like, everything's half off today. I was like, okay, Sly. Um, <laughs> literally, why is no one here? It's like cricket skies. I'm scared. It's like an apocalyptic movie. Why is no one in the thrift? I think it has to be because of the weather. It's 50% off the whole store. This is like low-key a dream though. I have all the first picks to myself. Look how gorgeous this is, guys. Oh my gosh. I can't wait till I have like a real house so that I can like furnish it actually with like a bunch of vintage, beautiful, giant pieces. I wish this could be my desk, but A, it wouldn't fit. B, there's nowhere to put your legs, so. They really don't have anything. I love this mirror thing. I think it's like a headboard. That's really cool. But there's no desks. Okay, here's their scarf selection. It's kind of crazy. Mm. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to clean this. Oh, this is so like emo grunge scarf vibe. Here are the hats. There's so many, but the only one that I see that I like is this one. Like, that's so cute. I love this plaid pattern. Y'all, look at this sleigh coat I found. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're giving up on getting organizational stuff from the thrift because I really just need to get that stuff off of my floor. So instead, we're gonna get some stuff from TJ Maxx. Okay, here's all the storage. I feel like this could be useful for like my cables for my tech category. Cause I have like cables that are like for my laptop, my phone, my speaker and other like random things. Um, it's really hard to keep them organized. So I feel like having a three section thing would like really <laughs> keep me knowing what's what. And then these giant bins, I feel like could be good for tech, like keeping my iPad and my second laptop, as well as like my laptop cases and then just other random giant tech stuff. And then the second one could be used for all my crochet and jewelry stuff because that is like really bulky. I'm also grabbing this for like my supplies, like my scissors and tape. And then I'll use this for like my miscellaneous box. I want it to be big. So as a random crap accumulates, I just have a lot of space. For my guitar straps and picks though, I want a cute storage container because I think I'm actually gonna leave it out. I think I would put all of this stuff under my bed, like the supplies and tech stuff, but I kind of want to like use my guitar accessories as like decorations. So I need a cute storage bin. This is kind of cute. Like it's more non-plasticky looking, but it's too big. Like when I buy storage stuff, I like the items to fit like perfectly and not have wiggle room. So we need something smaller. Oh my gosh, these mirrors are so cute. Like, oh, that looks so like vintage. Except I have no space on my desk for a mirror, so. 
I'll have to, to look away and forget that that existed. Y'all, they have candles. I've been obsessed with burning candles recently. Like, I just love a good scent. I burned through my two favorite candles, but I want one for my restroom, you know? <laughs> Cleanse that air from the times that my stomach has a little goofy moments. So I'll try to find like a clean scent. Normally I like like sugary scents, but restroom is giving clean vibes. This one's honeysuckle and moss. That has like no scent. I need this girl to be strong. Oh, that's nice. And with this infused, oh, look, $14.99. Who am I kidding? I've literally bought a $45 candle before. Huh? Are you dumb? White musk and cedar wood. What even is musk? Mm, musk. That's not for me. Oh, angel number one. That kind of smells just like cleaner. I don't want it to smell like someone just cleaned my bathroom with chemicals. Another angel. This might be the winner. That is nice. What is this? Sea salt rose. It's like a floral beach. Wait, there's this giant one. But the scent is black leather. Huh? Like, who would want to smell? Why is that so good? Oh my gosh, y'all. It smells like... It smells like Abercrombie and Fitch. That's literally my favorite scent in the entire world. Like, literally, like, I'm about to cry. <sighs> no way. How much is this? It's on clearance for $10. <gasps> You're freaking lying. You're literally freaking lying. And no, we're getting this one. I'm actually screaming because there's just no way this smells exactly like Abercrombie and Fitch. Like, I have been trying to find this scent in a different place in Abercrombie and Fitch my whole life. That scent always just like pulls me in when I'm in the mall, but then they close Abercrombie and Fitch down in my mall, so now I can't like go to get my smell high. It's okay because now I have a giant candle of it. Wait, this mushroom is so cute. Oh my gosh, is it a lamp? It looks like a lamp. Oh my gosh, it's literally a lamp. I'm about to cry. Okay, no, I need to leave her alone because I don't have space for that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm really getting distracted. Me saying this right now is criminal. Okay, let's please just stick to what we need and move on before anything else catches my eye. Okay, we're back. Yay, we have all our organizing stuff. This one is for the random shit that I have that I don't know what to do with. Also, I'm gonna keep all the tags on all of these containers because I think Gabe and I are gonna go to Ikea later and if I find anything cheaper and or cuter there, we're gonna do that. But for now, to like get this out of the way, look at that, like it fits so nicely. I'm just so happy that I was visualizing it in my head so well. Here's the container for the cables. Okay, like you'll see all those random ass cables like, I'm about to make my life so easy right now. Please. Uh, okay. <laughs> kind of looks crazy cuckoo bananas. But can you tell? Like this is laptop. This is phone. And this is like other random stuff like for speakers and whatnot. Now I don't have to dig through like 20 different chargers all at the same time. I can just go into the section. That's it. I feel so intelligent right now. Can I slide this off again? I don't want to rip it. No, wait, just come off. So I think I did rip it, but it's fine. We'll just slide this back on and try to return it if need be. Ah, oh, shite, nah. It has zip ties, okay. Okay, well for now, I'm gonna put the tech stuff in here the other one is supposed to be for like my crochet and jewelry but we'll just leave that out until we figure out if i want to keep these or return these Slay, look at that ah oh. uh, sadly this one does not fit everything it's meant to it fits this stuff really nice but <laughs> it's a little too small so for now i'm just gonna throw this stuff in like the other random bin and it is what it is it's not that big of a deal. I'm also gonna throw the stickers in the random bin because I don't know where else to put it. Okay, now see, now I can slide everything under my bed. <gasps> kind of like, let me cover that shit up. <laughs> let me cover that. This is why I wanted cute storage containers because I had a feeling you might be able to see them. But hopefully once I get like a cuter blanket, it'll be like long and it'll like go to the floor. <laughs> I put my books and journals, cards, 
guitar straps and picks here on the sill. And I actually think that looks super cute. I put my purse bin in my closet since my purses are right here. I feel like it makes sense. Oh my gosh, guys, everything is really starting to come together. I put my old lamp in that corner. It kind of looks crowded, but I feel like we're making it work. I still need to get something to hold my hair accessories. And then these are all the things that I feel like I could use as little knickknacks, but I don't know where to put my knickknacks. I feel like maybe I need a shelf of some sort. No matter what you're feeling. morning friends so y'all know how i said that i was going to look for like a vintage kind of desk to replace this current one i have so i found a few cute options like i kind of like these i really loved this one but like the prices like ah! so then i was looking at my desk and i was thinking wait a minute besides my laptop and like my water the only things that are on my desk is like all my jewelry and then like a little lamp and right now i have the candle there but basically Basically, the main thing making it hard to work with my laptop is all the jewelry. And I can't store, or I don't want to store, my jewelry in drawers. I want them to be on display. I want people to walk in and know I'm a fashion girly. Also just like easy access. So instead of getting a desk with drawers, I'm thinking of just putting a stand right here where my guitar currently is that'll hold all my jewelry. Basically a layered shelf. And then I'm gonna move my guitar from there to next to this guitar. It's gonna be a little bit of a tight squeeze oh wait slay it fits okay i moved some stuff around and now i'm thinking if i could just get these two earring racks moved then i would have like more space so maybe these can go on like a shelf that i put there we're at ikea yay editing Allie here sorry it's so close up i'm trying to block the background because my room's done now but I just wanna make an announcement for everyone that has been asking over the last few weeks. Um, Gabe and I are indeed dun 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 drum roll, just friends. Uh, sorry to those who shipped us, uh, but yes, we were and will always be just friends. Anyway, back to Ikea. I feel like I need something like this. this well, this is ugly mustard yellow. <laughs> Spicy mayo, huh? yellow. But I want this like kind of like, I feel like my jewelry would look cute on there. I something like this. That's ugly. Alright. <laughs> it's the black version. <laughs> or should I get the white version? No, I'll get the black version. It'll get dirty really? with the white one. Yeah. You think I'm dirty? Oh. Hey! Oh my god. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Do I look cool? Mm, no. Oh my god. Wait, we should have a race. No. <laughs> Come on! Oh, we should raise! I feel like you'd fall. You'd fall. I'd push you. <laughs> this is kind of cute. <gasps> you guys, look how cute this is. <laughs> I feel like if I wanted to be fancy, this could be like a sleigh. I feel like this is too much work. Like if I had to open this case to see my jewelry. That's oh, like that's just for your jewelry? Many. Damn, bro. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> My fault. Oh my gosh, you guys. This, okay, this is basically like what I've been looking for. Ah. Are you recording? Yeah. Come, 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 come hither. Bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> this is like so cute because imagine you can line multiple things. I'm a salesman right now. Am I convincing you? Boring. <gasps> Let me use a little of my pretty privilege. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Turn that shit on. <laughs> So here you have a pretty shelf that can hold all your beautiful knickknacks and other fun things that you have. Can you do like a hair whip or some shit? Cool. Here you can have all of oh fuck. Just for the low price of... A hundred. A hundred dollars. I'm gonna try to walk like a model. Get out your shot, that way you can do it. Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder building the build. You guys, look, she's gonna hold my jewelry and all my random knickknacks. 
Okay, y'all, here is the shelf with all my knickknacks on it. It's so perfect. Editing Allie here again. Uh, I forgot to do a transition again. <laughs> um, but basically, I just want y'all to know the rest of the video is pretty much just decorations. So it's the most fun part. So strap in and let's do it. Okay, y'all, so I'm at the Goodwill Bins for Thrift with me, but I was like, oh, I should look for some stuff for my room while I'm here. Hey, girl, <laughs> look what I found. Oh my. <laughs> you guys, I told y'all I got that white comforter so that I could find like a cute blanket to put with it. And like, look, it's also reversible <laughs> with stars. Um, literally hit the freaking jackpot. Anyway, I didn't find anything else in my room, but I will say that that was, <laughs> that was worth the trip to the bins. Okay guys, so yesterday I ordered some prints from FedEx and I just picked them up. I literally wanted to go ham on the posters. Like I want my whole wall to be covered. Very maximalist vibe. So I printed, I think like 25 posters maybe. I'm hoping that's enough. <laughs> But I got some like, this is like a comic from one of my favorite songs, Robbers. Hello Kitty, of course. We got Gwen and Lindsay, my two favorite characters from Total Drama. If you guys didn't know, I'm obsessed with Total Drama. And yes, I know I have Gwen hair. I'm literally obsessed with her. Ah! Along with Lindsay, whose character, I just like love her personality. Like she's really that girl. Like people thought she's dumb, but she's just cute. Like please. I also have my favorite movie poster, Kill Bill. Ooh, that is so cute. I love this design. I'm obsessed with Lucy Liu. She is like my inspiration. Like I literally love her bad, bad femme energy. Like I just, uh, I literally printed a Lucy Liu poster. Oh, uh, you guys, like I never talk about how much I love her, but recently I've just been like getting her energy and like putting it into myself. Like literally I want to be her. So there's there's a lot. I'm not gonna show them all right now. You'll see them all like on my wall. But then I also just went to Target and I got myself some hooks to hang these like star lights that I got for Christmas. And then of course the putty for the posters. But yeah, with that, let's head home and make my room look so cute. I actually made a stop at Five Below because I wanted more signs. I already have this Nugs Not Drugs one. <laughs> But I kind of like this caution man gave it at your own risk because like, obviously I'm not a man, but like, I just funny. They also have this one. I like this one. I also kind of like this one. Oh my gosh, guys, please. I have to get this one. Yes, I'm a 23 year old woman. And yes, I still think fart jokes are the funniest jokes on the planet. Oh my gosh, this one is so dramatic. I'm really gonna want it even though I don't play games. It's just like so much. Keep out, gamer it play. Battling enemies. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I decided to get the fart zone and the man cave ones. Okay, we're back. I changed. <laughs> Y'all like my shirt? Y'all know I thrifted this one of my thrifted me's. Ah, she's so cute. Anyway, first, we gotta put our new bedding on. Last night I FaceTimed my mom and I was like, oh my God, look what I got. And I like showed her and she was like, Allie, that is for a little girl. Mom, let me live my life, okay? Oh my gosh, y'all. I think this bedding might scare away some um, male specimen, but you know, that's okay. So here's all the stuff I wanna hang on the rest of this wall and also maybe over here some. So I'm gonna like lay out on the floor how I think I want it to look on the wall and then hopefully hang everything from there. Oh, I'm crazy for you. I realize that I don't have enough space on my floor to organize everything. So I feel like I'm just gonna have to like visualize it in my head and just like go for it. Yeah, let's try it. Let's start hanging. Just doing my view, feeling the same. Just thinking of you, that's what you do. Oh, oh, oh. Crazy for you, losing my head. Just doing my view. Y'all, let me just say, this Corpse Bride poster was being a pain in the booty. It kept wanting to roll down. It's too high to reach. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating, y'all. 
nailing in the YouTube plaque was literally the most stressful thing I've done in a long time, but I think it looks good. Also see, here's my thought process. All the things that are not like paper, basically the plaque and the signs and stuff like that, I wanna put them at the bottom because Jinx won't be able to like scratch and rip them up like the posters. So I'm gonna put the extra like vinyls I have along here, kind of like a continuation. And then also the like fart zone and man cave signs. Oh my gosh, guys, it's looking so good. I literally love how this wall looks. I think it honestly like looks pretty good, but I still have a few posters left over. So I'm gonna fill up this wall more and then maybe we'll add more to this wall if I still have posters left. So I got this vinyl at the thrift store and I thought I could hang the artwork right next to the actual vinyl. And I feel like it'll fit so perfectly right there. Okay, so I got these star lights <laughs> for Christmas from my aunt <laughs> at Bethel Slayin'. Anyway, I think I'm gonna put them like here, maybe like frame the posters. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but we're just gonna put some command hooks up and see what happens. Okay, it's definitely not <laughs> long at all. I literally thought I was gonna be able to like weave it all the way around. Mm -hmm. But this will have to work for now unless I wanna get more. The only thing left to do is I wanna hang all these like notes from my friends and from y'all and pictures as well. I think I'm gonna hang them above my desk area. But yeah, my friend is coming over to have dinner. So I'm gonna stop for now. I'll probably hang that stuff off camera and then I'll do a full room tour in the morning. Just real quick outfit check because I'm really feeling myself today. Anyway, my room is now done. So I actually realized that I liked my room better at night. So I'm gonna show all the details after the sun goes down, but here's what it looks like in daylight. Here's a little 0.5. But really this room comes to life at night. So let's skip to that. Hey y'all, so it's a few days later and I actually got a few more things to add to the room. So I'm gonna show you. Also, it is nighttime, but I think my room actually looks the prettiest at night because of all the different lighting I have. So eee! I can't wait to show y'all. So here it is. Oh my gosh. Jinx, isn't it so pretty? My 0.5 camera is kind of blurry because I cracked it, but this is maybe a better view. Okay, so I'm gonna start with walking in. So this is what you see when you walk in. You see Jinxy. And then there's my bed, all the posters. Here I have my lingerie corset rack with my shoes, my CD stereo, my records, my little guitar area, more posters, my vintage lamp, and then my star lights. LOL, the command hook wouldn't hold up there, so I had to improvise, but I actually kind of like how it looks diagonal like that. Of course, got all my stuffies, my bedding. Oh, Everything looks so good, does it not? Then here's the new part. I have all my letters from y'all and from my friends, and then some fun pictures like with Kathleen and my friend Ashley. And then on my desk, I got this cool jellyfish lamp. Y'all, like, <gasps> look at that. They look so real. And y'all, this was $25 at Target. Like, girl, run to your Target for real. And then here's my windowsill. I got Jade as a Bratz because look, she has the same hair color as me. <laughs> and she's so pop punk. She has an extra change of clothes. And then she has a star hairbrush. I'm like literally obsessed and i want to like get more and like line my whole sill with them like that would be so cute and then next to my sill is my mirror perfect for taking little outfit pictures and then next to my mirror and closet is my shelf with all those knickknacks and my earrings and stuff and then also i got a projector which is also under my bed with all my storage stuff <laughs> So I need to find a better setup, but right now, this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. No, but guys, like, isn't this so cool? Like, imagine laying there with my beautiful starlights, my, like, jellyfish lamp in the background, and then freaking, ah! 
Like, high key, this is the perfect movie setup, is it not? Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments your favorite part of my new room. And if you made it this far, comment the cool guy emoji because now we're so cool with our new room. If you guys want to see more of my life on a daily basis or get more fashion inspo, follow my socials here. I still do have some clothes on my Depop, so make sure to shop there. And yeah, I love you all so much. This is literally so fun. I feel so rejuvenated. I hope you got some inspiration yourself and that you also make your room look super duper cool. I love you all so much. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.